Good afternoon. I'm Peter Kempner, Legal Director here at Volunteers of Legal Service. Today, we're so pleased to honor Aisha Green and Annie Mohan from Cadwallader, Wickersham, and Taft for their partnership with VALS. Together, including active pro bono service by VALS board member and Cadwallader partner, Jason Halper, we have provided life planning services for seniors, older veterans, and frontline and healthcare workers during the pandemic. In this segment of the program, we will hear from Aisha and Annie, as well as from community partners, including Alana Dunner, Executive Director of Riverstone Life Services in Washington Heights, and from Commissioner James Hendon from the New York City Department of Veteran Services. To kick off our conversation, I now welcome Cadwallader's managing partner, Patrick Quinn. Pat, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Pete. Cadwallader is proud to partner with Volunteers for Legal Services, and I am particularly proud to help, help honor two outstanding colleagues who are true leaders at our firm. Pro bono services is an incredibly important element of who we are at Cadwallader, and there are a number of reasons for that. There are the obvious reasons, like the professional and personal fulfillment that comes from doing this work and impacting people's lives in such a personal and tangible and often transformational way. And then there are some less obvious reasons, like the way that our pro bono efforts fit so beautifully and seamlessly together with our diversity and inclusion efforts. We believe that we can't be successful at becoming the diverse firm that we all want to be unless we create the professional environment that we all want to be part of, whether we are diverse or non-diverse. Today, VALS is honoring two of the people who were at the center of that nexus of pro bono work and diversity and inclusion at Cadwallader. Aisha Green is our Director of Attorney Development and Training, and she is also our Head of Diversity and Inclusion. So Aisha has discovered that being exceptional is sometimes rewarded with ever-increasing responsibility. Aisha, Aisha transitioned years ago from being a practicing attorney to her current role, and we are very fortunate that she did. Annie Mohan is our manager of pro bono and corporate social responsibility. Now, the term I hear most often to describe Annie is rock star. Beloved both within Cadwallader and also by our clients with whom uh, she interacts on pro bono partnerships, um, we are so fortunate to have both Aisha and Annie on our team at Cadwallader, and we congratulate them both for this honor. I will now hand off the conversation to Aisha, who will tell us more about bringing together pro bono, diversity and inclusion, and professional development at Cadwallader. Thank you, Pat. It is so easy to do this work with your wonderful leadership and support. We are honored today to accept this award on behalf of the dozen attorneys at our firm who did not consider it a robbery of their time to be active and dedicated pro bono citizens. Nearly one year ago, we started a conversation at the VALS Summit, where we discussed the intersection of pro bono, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and the development of attorneys. Our affinity networks at the firm have always been deeply involved in pro bono initiatives and look for ways to service the community. In our roles, we're able to support them through a collaborative pro bono clinic model where the goal is to give back in a meaningful and impactful way, offer mentoring and leadership opportunities, and help to support the talent development of our attorneys. Our training and development department, pro bono department, and diversity and equity inclusion team are all one department. We are not siloed. We attend each other's events and meetings, have a shared department calendar, regularly update each other at meetings, and also pro bono is on the agenda at all of our affinity network meetings. When the opportunity was proposed to work with low income seniors and veterans to prepare their life planning documents, our Cadwallader Veterans Network members were motivated and activated to do the work and had the opportunity to partner with our clients at Morgan Stanley. As a result of the wonderful training provided by VALS, we were able to pivot during the pandemic. At the height of the pandemic, during one of our meetings with our Black and Latino Association Affinity Group, we discussed a New York Times article about healthcare workers who were in need of life planning documents. This resonated with many of our members who had family on the front line. 
given our prior work with veterans, we were able to quickly activate and represent healthcare workers. The benefit is win-win all around. Our attorneys are receiving wonderful training, fulfill the need of our community, and we're supporting our affinity network's desire to have an impact on the community. Tell us more about the pro bono work itself with our attorneys and clients. I would like to turn it over to her now, to my amazing colleague, to discuss the pro bono work and the issues we faced during the pandemic. Thank you, Aisha, and thank you to our friends at Balls for this honor. So not many people know this, but Cadwallader's relationship with Balls dates back to almost two decades ago when its, executive, its then executive director, the late Bill Dean, reached out to me to introduce himself. He had heard that I was new to the pro bono scene and in true Bill Dean fashion wanted to be of assistance. And I guess the rest, as they say, is history. Since then, our attorneys have worked with clients from various projects at Falls. Most recently, the firm has dedicated a significant amount of time and resources to the COVID-19 Frontline and Healthcare Workers Initiative that Aisha just mentioned. Like most firms, Cadwallader saw a surge in interest in pro bono and community service in the past year. Folks felt helpless sitting at home watching the world being devastated by this health crisis. My inbox was flooded with emails from people asking what they could do to help. And early on, navigating this new remote environment was challenging. There were so many questions. How can we serve our clients without meeting with them? What about clients who had pending court dates and deadlines? How are legal services groups connecting with their clients with so many restrictions in place? What were the new legal needs arising from the pandemic? Who was assessing those needs and trying to find solutions to them? So again, lots of questions, but legal services providers like Vol stepped up and did not let the challenges deter them. And after months of planning, Vols launched its COVID-19 Frontline and Healthcare Workers Initiative to directly serve those who were putting their lives on the line to serve others. Cadwallader was proud to be one of the firms leading that effort with our private client group and members of our Black and Latino Association taking ownership of the project at the firm. As always, Vols provided comprehensive training and support for this new initiative. And at Cadwallader, we were fortunate enough to have had several attorneys previously trained by Vols to help low-income seniors and veterans prepare their life planning documents. And so because of this, as Aisha mentioned, we had attorneys who were ready and immediately available to help out on this COVID-related project. I would be remiss if I ended without recognizing and congratulating my fellow honorees, Aisha, of course, whom I have the pleasure of working and sometimes playing with every day, Harlene Katzman of Simpson Thatcher, who is such an inspiration and role model to our group of law firm pro bono leaders, and Aaron Law of Morgan Stanley, with whom Cadwallader has been partnering uh, for some of this life planning work. That partnership began with what I believe might be one of Erin's and my favorite pro bono events, a day-long veterans life planning clinic hosted by the Cadwallader Veterans Network, where attorneys teamed up to help the most captivating group of veterans that I've ever met. And our attorneys reported back that serving veterans who had fought, fought for our nation's freedom was one of the most rewarding things they had ever done. Since that clinic in 2019, we have continued to partner on that work only now in a remote setting. I'd like to end by saying hats off to Vols for its phenomenal work serving New Yorkers in need. Thanks so much, Pat, Aisha, Annie. Cadwallader has been such a great partner for our, our veterans, for our seniors, and for our frontline workers. 